This is a story that came out in Bloomberg October 20th, 2018. Americans lose in 2040 global life expectancy rankings. That is really hard to believe in a country full of high IQ people. You know, I just don't see the point in having a high IQ if you can't put that baby to work to resolve issues. It, it What's the point in having a high IQ and you're not resolving anything? So America is dropping in life expectancy and many other parts of the world are gaining. But it's not a surprise, ladies and gentlemen, because of all the alcoholism, the drugs, the suicides, the elderly population just dying off, low birth rate, low sperm count. Yeah, I can see how it's happening. So they're saying Americans are forecast to just grow in life expectancy 1.1 more years to 79.8 while dropping 21 spots in the global rankings of 195 countries to 64. So America will be number 64 on the list for life expectancy. As other nations make faster gains, according to the recently released data from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. I'm not surprised. Not at all, ladies and gentlemen. The drop in the U.S. is the most for high income countries. But you know what? That just go to show you money and high IQs do not gain life expectancies, ladies and gentlemen. It just don't. Indeed, life expectancy in the U.S. is expected to be only slightly better than that of Bangladesh. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. That's pretty bad. A country with considerably lower income. Yet Bangladesh will have made a significant stride of having 6.7 more years in average lifespan by 2040. The Western Hemisphere as a whole is expected to lose standing in the world as life expectancy in other areas grows at a faster pace. China, with a lifespan of 76.3 years in 2016, is expected to increase to 81.9, raising its rankings from 68th to 39th. So there you have it. So China is now going to crack the top 40 in life expectancies. In 2040, Spain, fourth ranked in 2016, is expected to take the top spot from Japan. Singapore and Switzerland rounded out the above 85 club. Nigeria expected to have the third largest population in the world by 2050 is expected to improve its life expectancy from 157th rank in 2016 to 123rd by 2040. So, you know, they're talking about, you know, the future is not preordained. Of course it's not, you know. Things can go in a different manner, but the way that America is going right now, I can't see no gains in life expectancy. It has already been articles out two years in a row. They have lost in life expectancy and not gain. And, it, you know, they're blaming it on the drug addiction, but it's a lot more than that, ladies and gentlemen, you know. You got to expect the worst 
because you have so many detrimental and life-changing things going on, you know, you and things that are causing a lot of death in America. And how do you gain in life expectancy and you can't even replace the population that's dying? The top five health drivers that explain most of the future trajectory for premature mortality are blood pressure, high body mass index, uh, high blood sugar, tobacco use, and alcohol use. They really need to throw the drugs in there too. Drug addiction. Foreman said, air pollution ranks six. At the end of the month, the World Health Organization will hold its first global conference of air pollution and health to help combat the 7 million deaths per year due to air pollution. I'm not surprised that America is losing in life expectancy and it's ranking in the world and it's going to continue to lose. But tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.